application 4.3 basically comes in three parts. You'll only need to use the data collector for the middle part. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these guys down just for a second. Um, the first part that the students do is kind of a qualitative first kind of getting used to the materials. Uh, we've used this guy once before. And so you wanna remind students that the best way to launch the car is to have your palm resting on there gripping that little lip there at the front, pull back, and then as best you can, kind of do a flip. And what you're hoping to see is the cars collide, and you're not gonna get perfect collisions, but they will get launched. So um, that's the kind of what they wanna see first, and they're gonna have a bunch of questions. So like, does the moving car keep moving after the collision? As you just saw there, it does. And then they can describe the motion. So then after they kind of got this practice doing that, they've answered some questions, then you're actually gonna need the photo gates. It says place them 20 centimeters apart. So I'm placing mine at 50 and at 70, right in the middle of the track is what it wanted you to do. And then your orange car will sit just in front of this guy right here, the second one. Okay, you're gonna try this again. You're gonna collect this place them 20 centimeters apart, very close to, but not quite breaking the beam of photogate B. That might be a good time to check. Does this core go into B? Uh, release the moving car with the rubber band from the launcher as before and make a collision. Repeat several times and record the trials. So the tricky part with this is, as we saw from the previous one, this car after colliding here is going to keep rolling through. So what you want to do is calculate the time for this. So you're basically looking at what's the speed as this guy passes through here. Notice it's going to pass through before they collide. So that's going to give me my speed. And then they're going to collide. And then this is going to pass through here and give me a speed. But this guy continues to roll. So you got to make sure you tell your students, okay, after they collide, have somebody standing at the ready this one goes by and I'm gonna stop this one from messing up this because if it passes through, that erases the time data that I got from there. So, now let's do a practice run, see how it turns out. I'm gonna place him just prior to this. I'm gonna go ahead and pull back and release, stop. And now I've got two times there and students can collect those times and then they have questions to answer there. You might want to even include a third trial or a third or fourth column showing the speeds, but they can also just compare the times. And what they should find is this one is close to this one, but because this guy keeps rolling, um, obviously some of the energy is still in that car. The last part of the lab, you actually don't need the photo gates for, it's all qualitative. So you guys can take those off and then the students are just gonna test using different combinations of marbles. And so you'll do, let's see here, you'll do two marbles in the orange one, you'll do no marbles, you'll do two marbles in the blue one, and then two in each, and then see how those interactions go and the students have questions again. So just the collisions lab, looking at incoming force, the masses, those sorts of things, um, really kind of not too bad of a lab. Um, just getting the kids to practice that release so that the cars don't go flying everywhere, especially in that last part when you've got marbles. But uh, that is the end of investigation 4.3.